When you see the antenna I'm going to use to work 10 meter FT8, you might laugh. See what I mean? This is a small magnetic loop tuned by an MFJ tuner. The antenna is a loop of about four feet of three eighths inch copper tube available at hardware stores, usually in 10 foot rolls. I cut mine into two shorter lengths to make it easier to travel with. I'll show you the back. These things are great for FT8 because you stay on one frequency. A loop tunes extremely sharp, so moving around on the band is difficult. You are constantly retuning for a good SWR. I like using this small magnetic loop calculator. So we length of conductor we put in four feet. Diameter of conductor, 3 eighths, which is 0.375. Frequency, 28 megahertz, and we'll say 25 watts of power. Calculate, antenna efficiency is 35%, 4.6 dB below 100%. Well, that is less than one S unit, so not really concerned about that. Here's some other statistics. Capacitor voltage, 937 volts. Resonant circulating current, 12 amps. A lot of current going through that loop. You do not want to touch it while you are transmitting. Comments, the specified conductor length of 4 feet is not ideal, should be between 4.26 and 8.52 feet at 28 megahertz. So, uh, not even an ideal small magnetic loop, but uh, let's see what we can do. Might be surprised. I like to use an antenna analyzer, like the rig expert, to tune this for the lowest SWR before I hook it up to the transmitter. So uh, basically what you do, you toggle back and forth between this knob and this knob. This controls the match to the antenna. This controls your match to the transmission line. So let's see where we are here. Very high SWR at this point. All right, so uh, there's a bit of a dip. Let's adjust this one here. That's even better. Okay. We could leave it right there, but let's see if we can do better. That's good enough. So we're all hooked up now. WSJT-X is running and we are on uh, 10 meters. So let's enable to transmit and call CQ. See if we can get a contact. All right, so we've connected with IK1 MJK in Italy, and I was also being called by CT7 AKT in Portugal. So I sent him a minus 7 dB, and I am a minus 24. Not too bad considering the antenna that I'm using. Now let's start PSK Reporter and see where we're being heard. 
Look at that. Not bad at all. Getting into Europe, pretty good. Scotland, minus 6 dB. That's good for FT8. Minus 5 dB in England. Minus 12 in France. Another French station, minus 16. Yeah, very good. And here we are, the uh, Canary Islands, minus 18 dB. And here in the States... Got stations all over the place here. Minus 11, 15. These are all minus 3 dB in the Midwest somewhere. And even getting into uh, South America here. So, yeah, I'd say that little loop works pretty good. This tells me that you can get on the air regardless of HOAs, living in a condo, living in an apartment. You can set this antenna up in a few minutes. There's always a way. And if you like these new digital modes, you don't need a great antenna or a lot of power. Any time of the day or night, there's always hams on FT8. MFJ rates this tuner at 150 watts, but I'd suggest being a little more conservative. It even has a handle. Well, my handle's Mark the Ham Florida Man. What's yours? Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to this channel in 73.